Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome acoustic soloing lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're going to discuss the single most important aspect of soloing, phrasing. We're going to talk about acoustic soloing phrasing. Now, phrasing is, in my opinion, the most important aspect of soloing because um, it incorporates your personality, the soloist's personality, um, because phrasing is the way that you make the guitar talk, okay? If you play, okay, just three consecutive notes out of a scale, okay, that's pretty predictable. But if you take those three notes and inject some dynamics and inject some personal rhythm into it. Okay? Then you've created a solo. Okay? I'm not saying that this okay, is not a solo. Okay? It's a pretty good solo, okay? depending on the chord in the background. But by itself, it's pretty boring and predictable, right? And when I started tinkering around with those uh, notes, those three notes, okay, it's just five, seven, and eight, okay? A, B, and C on the E string, okay? And I started tinkering around with it rhythmically and dynamically. I created an interesting story just using these three notes. And it's everywhere on the neck, no matter where you are, no matter which scale you're playing. The thing is that on acoustic, all you have is the natural sound of the guitar. You have the wood, you have the strings, and you have your fingers. And the way that you touch the strings is also a very important factor. Now, on acoustic, when you slide, you hear the steel on steel sound. Not all electric guitars really produce and reproduce, actually, the steel-on-steel steel sound. Because the guitar, the electric guitar has processing going on. While the acoustic guitar is just the sound that you're getting. Now, you can have okay, soft notes. Okay, you can have uh, attacking notes. And the sonic range of the acoustic guitar is in some ways far, far greater than the electric guitar. Because on the electric guitar, you have compression going on no matter what you do. On an acoustic, on a, on a good acoustic, okay, a decent acoustic, it doesn't have to be an expensive acoustic, um, you can produce a terrific dynamic range Okay, just by changing the, the way that you pick. Okay, I'm gonna play the same thing with my fingers and with a pick. Okay, so. Okay, now I love dirty, dirty vibrations. Okay, I love, okay, I even love taking the string off the fretboard. Um, some of you might like, okay, the more, subtle or okay the subtlest okay i i recently um did a lesson a master class on the 12th vibrato techniques okay just so watch it if you're interested in vibrato techniques okay so i love yeah i love making the vibrato talk and and dirtying it up okay just just my personal style but let's play the same thing with a pick okay so okay so you can hear immediately that hey, this is hey, it's it's a more controlled sound, and with a pick, hey, it's a little bit wilder in dynamics. Hey, I can mute it, hey, or I can open it up. Hey, now. You can mix the two. You can play hybrid picking okay, with the pick and your finger. Okay? You can take this line and play it softly. You can play it okay, 
and, and really attack the line. And it's all about the way that you feel in the moment. Okay? You know my, my dictum, the lick and riff dictum. You can't play what you can't hear. You can't play what you can't feel. And when you hear it and you feel it, okay, your hands follow. So it all comes from within. Okay, so let me try to play a solo uh, just using okay, this, uh, the A minor scale. Okay, so... Okay, this is the A Dorian scale actually because I'm using seven on the second string. Okay, so... So, what gives the solo personality, okay, because I could, I could just play it in a predictable sort of way. Okay, well, I can because I'm feeling it. I wanted to give you an, uh, um, a more uh, run-of-the-mill example, but I'm feeling it right now. I can hear, I can feel the, the rhythm. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, the shuffle rhythm, I can hear the drums in my head. So the phrasing follows what I hear. Now, okay, you can see that I'm sliding up. Okay, even, even this. Okay? And I'm... Okay, you can bend notes. Okay, instead of playing eight... <clears throat> Sorry. Instead of playing eight on the first string, I bend the seven. Okay, and I'm using the scale. I always go up and down the strings. I don't just. Okay, just don't just. And not, not running over the scale. I'm going up and down the strings as well. Okay. Up and down, up and down. And this immediately refreshes my own ear as well. And it helps the phrasing because I'm creating a sort of a roller coaster here. So even if I start from, okay, even from the bass strings, and I'm just playing one note of the scale on each string, okay? Hey, okay, I'm gonna teach you how to do this in different lessons. I just want you to listen. Okay, so, now, let's take this phrase, okay? And <clears throat> if you're looking for a dictionary, a, a treasure trove, a treasure chest of phrases and licks and ideas, melodic ideas, that will also train your phrasing, I have the Electric Mastermind Pack, okay? The Electric Mastermind Pack, it's full of... 1101 licks okay it's on electric but there are tabs and you can play 95 percent of them you can play them on acoustic as well okay it's not a matter of it's not a matter of the guitar as much as it's a matter of music and guitar fun and enjoyment so check it out okay the link is below in the description and also i have the melodic control the complete melodic control soloing beyond pentatonics course okay that's on acoustic uh you can check it out as well okay it's part of the complete guitar journey but you can uh, you can get it uh as a standalone course as well if you like so check it out as well it's in the description as well so hey okay, so hey okay, i i took uh five seven and eight on the second string and okay again it's just a part of the scale Okay, just like what we did on the first string, but because we have the seven on the second string as well, because it's Dorian, we're getting a really interesting thing here. We're getting interesting harmonies. Now, the way to turn this into a phrase, because you can just play it. Okay, the way to turn this into a phrase is to use the tools at your disposal as a guitar player. You can slide. Okay, you can slide into the seven. 
you can uh, slide from seven to eight and back. Okay. Okay, you can pull off. You can hammer on and pull off. And one of the phrasing tricks that I find that most guitar players completely ignore is the fact that you can repeat a note. You can repeat a note. That's one of my secrets to soloing. Okay? The fact that the seven here repeats gives the, the whole phrase its flavor. And it's also good at the beginning of licks. Okay, so. Okay, that's seven and five on strings three and four. You see? Okay, again, seven, seven, pull off to five. Repeating notes. And also, uh, you can play longer lines and end on the same note. Um. You see? Okay. Okay. And even they sort of mishaps like this, they give you personality. They give the solo personality. So don't be afraid of making little small mistakes like that that make the note disappear or that make the string go okay it's fine it's all part of the soloing process and um i, I repeated the note a couple of times okay and you can slide you can slide okay two frets forward one fret forward three five uh, four five okay you can slide back okay sliding back is also a really good phrasing tool Okay, you can. Okay, you can slide back into the note, and it really doesn't matter where you slide from. Okay, you see, as long as you land on the right note. Okay, you can go chromatic. Okay, there are a ton of ways. The important thing to remember is to feel the rhythm in your head and to make good use of the properties of the guitar. Slide a lot, okay, on an acoustic, okay, and surprise the listener by bending a string, okay, and always remember to, um, to just inject more rhythm into your playing. And give it personality by playing vibrato okay, and playing the same note. Okay? Even playing the same note can be a whole solo. And playing notes around that note. Okay? That can also be a solo. Okay, what I wanted to give you in this lesson, okay, is just a primer on phrasing, okay, and we're going to talk a lot about this uh, in future lessons, uh, but if you can't wait, okay, you're free to get the complete melodic control course, okay, or the whole complete guitar freedom journey pack, um, and the electric mastermind pack, okay, which you're getting as a bonus for free, if you buy the full complete guitar freedom pack, okay? So that's that's like 40 hours of, of lessons and master classes, and, which will completely transform the way that you play the guitar. Okay, so check it out, okay? Lickandref.com slash courses or lickandref.com slash electric. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now, enjoy.